uh, biggest advice is focus on your skills, make sure your skills are transferable. Really, really overachieve. Uh, the worst thing you can do as a young programmer or a young person coming to a startup is believe that because you're not being paid a lot, either in cash or in other items, that you only have to work a certain set of hours. What you'll come to realize is if you truly want to be successful is you have to give it everything you have. You have to want it more than anything in the world. And when you show that kind of passion, that kind of desire, that kind of fortitude, what you'll see is that success will follow you. And if it's not success at that startup, that attitude will get you hired by other startups and other successful technology companies. Uh, the best advice I can give is to really put everything you have at it. Want it, believe in yourself, and throw all of your effort at it. I think it shouldn't be a target for any company on day one. Like, obviously, you may reach a point very early in your life cycle where you're going to think about exiting, because naturally, if you go with certain forms of investment, it's all based around the exit. But when you start a company, when you go in at the very start, your entire focus should not be on what I'm going to sell it for, how I'm going to exit. It should be on here is a thing, and here is how I'm going to make that thing be useful to people, and that way in which it's useful to people will make money for somebody, hopefully me. Because if your entire focus on exiting, like you shouldn't be in business in my view. Your focus should be on how you're going to solve problems. How you're going to create something useful that's going to, using the horrible term, disrupt, or at least innovate, another horrible term. But like, look at what you're doing and how it's going to actually be a way of generating revenue. Because if you're not thinking about that first and foremost, there will never be an exit. There will be nobody investing in you. There will be no big payoff at the end of the day. There's no reason for that, in all honesty. Um, I think it's probably, you know, I think there's, there's a bit of kind of cultural momentum maybe to overcome here. Um, the talent is certainly here. People are here. They're extremely talented um, and bright. You know, engineers could build anything in the world out here. Um, that's what I'm finding and that's what, who we're hiring. Um, that's who we're building our team with. Uh, again, we are, we're, we're getting back to core R&D here in Ireland. Um, our, 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 I think there's been a tendency to overstate um, the, the the kinds of jobs that foreign direct investment brings here to Ireland. You know, the, um, you know, the maybe not doing product development. You know, it's, that support those kinds of roles. I think that that's changing. I think that we're seeing a kind of a, a, a rising tide here where people are, are, are building interesting things. I'm, I can only speak really specifically of Dublin in this case. Um, they're building interesting product. The talent is here. Um, and I think we're going to see more things like Intercom, like Currency Fair, coming out of, of this city specifically. No reason it couldn't happen anywhere else in Europe. You need to focus on your product, but uh, you need to know that uh, you don't need to focus that much on the product because you just need to make like uh, MVP. You don't it no, it don't need it don't need to be finished at all uh, at the final stage. You just need to to make proof of concept for your for your product, and uh, you need yeah you need as a startup you need investment because because if you don't have an investment you cannot you cannot uh, scale you you cannot find a new clients you cannot find clients at all you cannot make the product actually uh, in, in in some in some startups you cannot make if if you are just a, a business guy you cannot make the 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 product at all if you if you don't have an investment so you need to be balanced you need to there, there needs to be a, a balance between these two things biggest challenge for dublin is uh the belief that if a startup is successful in ireland somehow that'll translate outside of ireland the best advice i could give to a startup starting here is uh yes obviously try your product in ireland but almost immediately look to europe look to north america look globally to make sure that the technology can scale, that the competition in the market is right sized, and that you have the skill sets in place to be global right out of the gate. Ireland gives you everything you need to achieve that, so there's no reason for you not to go for it, other than you didn't know about it, you didn't try, or you didn't you know, have an objective that was global.